hey y'all welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to show you guys how i do this refill my client had these on for three weeks it feel like it was just yesterday i just did these nails on her but it's been three weeks time is moving fast all of her nails is still attached so that's very good the mccart rhinestone glue on amazon if you never tried it before run go get it when i tell you it makes your rhinestones last they last as you can see i was having a hard time taking them off like those pearls was not coming off those rhinestones was not coming off and my client had her nails on for three weeks y'all three weeks and they still all the diamonds is still on go get it it's on my amazon storefront so while y'all watch me struggle trying to take these rhinestones off, let me give y'all a little quick story time. But I did end up using um, my nail drill just to take it off. But quick story time. I'm really not the type to talk about people, but I just feel like in this nail industry or any industry, any business, any own like you know doing y'all having your own business, you're going to come across some people that really want to get you out of character so i had this client lawyer client she was coming to me for a while well, i thought she was a lawyer client she was coming to me for a while for probably like i want to say a good six months straight she was coming to me you know had a good conversation cool she was coming to me she had her best friend come to me she had and her daughter she came to me too so one time I did her nails, and as I'm doing her nails, she liked the nails, everything's good. She told me to do her pedicure as well. I did her pedicure. No, she didn't come to for the pedicure the same day. She said she was she asked me if I had opening the next day and if I could um book her daughter to do her nails and she was gonna come for the pedicure then. So I said, okay, whatever, let's do that. Her nails that day came up to $70. Okay. You know, I don't usually take cash app. And this is why I stopped completely taking cash app. So, I let her go ahead and cash app me the money. So, she cash app me the money. Um, the next day, she came in for her daughter. Her daughter did her nails. And I did her nails. And then she did her pedicure. Like, we, like it was planned whole time we having a good time or whatever the case might be like she'll bring me wine like it, she was one of them clients like we was locked in i felt like we was locked in so a week later i get a message from cash app she filed a dispute basically the, the cash app took the money out of my bank and gave it back to her. Mind you, first day, her when she did her, her nails by herself, it came up to $70. When she did her nails and her daughter, her, her pedicure and her daughter nails, it came up to like, I think like $120. So she went and filed a dispute. Cash App took the money out of my bank. So when I look, I'm not paying in no mind. It's not until later on that day. I look. I see the text message. I'm like, why Cash App text me? But I wasn't, again, I wasn't paying in no mind. So when I look at my bank account, I see Cash App took out the money. I'm like, what? When did I cash up somebody all this money? Like, when, where does money coming from? So when I look on my Cash App, I see it was a dispute. I looked at the text message, read it. It was a dispute. It said her name on it. I screenshot it. I sent it to her and I'm like, hey, I don't know what's going on with Cash App, but can you explain this? Like, what's going on? You remember you did your nails last week, and then you, your daughter did her nails too. She like, oh, I don't know what's going on with Cash App. That wasn't me. Okay. So I tell her, I'm like, if it wasn't you, who was it? I'm not finna send you back your money. 
and I'm not, and then it would never told me, Cash App would never said your name, your first and last name, and said you filed a dispute with your bank. So if it wasn't you, who was it? I'm not gonna be giving out free money. You got your nails, you know. I'm not gonna be giving out free money. And she going back and forth. Oh, I don't know what's going on with my bank. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. So I'm like, okay. Well, I need my money. Send me back my money because I did your nails. Send me back my money. I need my 190 real quick. Send me back my money. So she like, oh, um, I'm going to send you the money. She said, I'm going to send you the money. Hold on. I will go by nothing i said okay after i finish doing my next client she better send me my money i i did my next client she still ain't send me the money so i text her i'm like hey what's up what's going on i still haven't got a cash out from you she ignored me next day I, I, I'm like, I'm not gonna keep begging you. Like, I'm not, gonna, I'm the type of person, I'm not gonna keep texting you. I'm not gonna keep begging you. Like, I feel like that's annoying. So, the next day, I, I waited. I said, I'm wait till the next day. Maybe she gotta get the money from somebody. I don't know. The next day, I text her. The next morning, I text her and I said, Hey, I, I didn't receive a cash app from you last night. That's, I find it kind of crazy how. You came, did your nails, you did your pedicure, you, you did your daughter nails, and now a week later you disputed with your bank. Weird. So she was like, oh, I'm going to send you the money right now. I have forgot, whatever, some excuse she gave me. She sent me the money. Tell me why. Three weeks later, this girl texts me, oh, do you have any openings? Baby girl, what? You scammed me once. You think I'm finna try to book you an appointment with me? No, ma'am. Why would you even want to come back to me when you try to scam me? I don't know where people be thinking and what be going through their mind, but why? So what I did was block her from my booking site, from booking with me. I blocked her from... I blocked her phone number. I blocked her Instagram. Because when it comes out to my money, you're going to pay me my money. You cannot, you would never go and work for free. So why would you want me to work for free? It don't work like that. And I don't know why people feel like they could get over on small businesses. But that's not cool. Because you're going to go pay Walmart for groceries. Why not pay me for my work? I don't get it. If you're doing your nails and you cannot afford it, don't do it. You don't have to have your nails done. That's something you choose to do. And on top of that, if you didn't, if doing your nails was not in your budget, why would you go and do your nails, turn around, do a pedicure, and turn around and do your your daughter nails? If it was not in your budget, like, I, I'm a bit confused. People think they can get over on you in any kind of way because you're nice. And they take your niceness for weakness. And I'm not that type of person. I can be really nice. Like, I'll be, like, when it comes down to my business, I'm really nice. But what I hate is when people feel like they can come over on you, like, I don't play them type of games. Go find somebody else to play with because not that girl. So moral of the story, y'all don't take cash out for real. And do not let people come in your chair and think a nigga play in your face. The color I'm using is Candy Yam Yam from Not Polish. So I had seen on TikTok, if you put a piece of cotton ball in your monomer, it's going to help keep your monomer clean. So I'm trying it out. So far, so good. I don't know if I'm going to remember to do it every single time, but so far, so good. I like it. I really be seeing why people do not offer refills. I feel like refills take longer to do than an actual new set and it's crazy but it's because 
you got to do so much. Like, you literally have to do so much. Especially, like, if they have, like, diamonds and stuff. I feel like this set right here took me almost three hours to do. A refill. I guess because she has so much diamonds and stuff to drill off and take off. But it it would took too long. And I really be feeling like I don't want to do refills no more. Like, I don't want to offer that service anymore. But it's something I know my clients wouldn't really like because majority of my clients they do come with their nails still on and they do you know just want to refill but it take too long it take too long to do a refill when i first started doing nails i used to do the clear acrylic first and then let them pick a color acrylic and then when they come back for a refill, I just drill the whole thing off and I have that clear base. But that right there took too much. I had to stop offering that service. I had to stop doing it. I had to tell them straight up, if you guys want to do a refill, it have to be same color refill and we can change the design. And you can only have that set on for, um, you only can do two refills because it becomes a lot. Like it really do becomes a lot. And then all that drilling, it be hurting your wrist, your back, your neck. Everything just be hurting. It be too much. April is going to make it three years since I've been doing nails. And I'm kind of to the point where I really do not want to offer refills no more. I just, I think it's too much. Like, it's too much. Majority of my clients, they have their nails on for three weeks or more. But then it's like... Not every time I know I'm going to want to sit there, do a soak off, do a new set. Like, that's not good for your nails. Like, to keep on doing soak offs every two weeks or every three weeks, that's not good for your nails. I only do, you know, my clients, when they do soak off, they usually have their nails on for like a month and a half. And then they'll take them off and then soak them. And then, then they'll come and soak it off. So that's the only reason why I still, you know, say I would just offer refills, but it's it's becoming a lot. I feel like you're doing a refill for a, a cheaper price, but it's more than the price from the beginning. I, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know. Y'all tell me down below, like, do y'all offer refills? Like, how do y'all make y'all refills be less time, like, spend less time on doing a refill? Like, Y'all comment down below. I need some help. Thank you.
I did the filing and shaping off camera, but I'm using my McCart rhinestone glue. Like I said in the beginning, it's on Amazon. If you need a rhinestone glue that's going to stay, make your diamond stay, please go get it. It works miracles. <laughs> like, it really works. It stays on for a long time. The bling box that, I'm, that I have here, I got it from AliExpress. It took about three weeks to come, but it's a lot cheaper on AliExpress than it is on Amazon. But they do have one on Amazon as well. To make the process go faster, I use my LED flashlight to cure it. And then at the end, I'm gonna, at the end, after I finish place all the diamonds, I'm gonna have her cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. I just wanna say thank you guys for supporting me by subscribing. I am 20, no, 19, I'm 19 subscribers away from getting 200 subscribers i did set a goal for me to have 200 subscribers with by sunday so hopefully i get there i'm praying and for the rest of this video i won't be doing too much talking i'm i just want you guys to sit back and watch me do this bling placement and if you see a cute one that you think is cute screenshot it and do it on your next set Thank you.
look thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe bye